a lot of people ask me how I lost 40 kilos. Well, here is how I did it. So yeah, it, um, it all started when I was uh, about 17 years old. Um, I had been swimming for the last um, 10 years four or five times a week, which was yeah, quite a lot for a kid that, that age. Um, it was yeah, training on Mondays, uh, Wednesdays, no, training on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. But maybe sometimes I skipped a Saturday because we had a competition day at Sunday. So yeah, it, 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 was, it was fun, but I got bored of it and yeah, I just quit and maybe that was my worst decision in my life that I've ever made. After that, I uh, started going out a lot more, uh, drinking more beer than I should, eating a lot of junk food and I gained a lot of weight in a very, very short period of time, um, which actually brought me up to 139.8 kilos. Um, and at, at some point, in, 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 uh, I just had enough of it. It just felt wrong. I was uh, upset with myself. I wasn't happy. I was. Uh, it just was. Yeah. I just was. I just felt like garbage. And um, so I started working out again. Um, I started riding my bike, swimming, running. I did everything uh, in my power to to lose weight again. Um, I even tried uh, programs like Herbalife, uh, Weight Watchers, uh, these kind of diets, but for me they didn't work. Um, for a lot of people they will work, but not for me. Um, actually, uh, one of those diets I gained weight from instead of losing weight. So that was a bit of disappointment. Um, so I kept exercising and exercising and I was able to, I also quit drinking alcohol. I just quit for about two years in a row. Um, at that point I was 26 years old. Um, so yeah, after that I was able to drop back to 122 kilos, uh, which is great. Uh, but I stayed there for about one year and a half, two years. And I was working out a lot. I was riding my bike a lot, trying to run as much as I can. And the more I was exercising, it just, it flattened out. I couldn't lose any more weight. And that was um, very disappointing um, because I, I love to work out. I love to ride my bike. I even ride my bike indoors. I, I'm, I'm using Zwift a lot. Um, it's great. If you don't know Zwift, it's, it's great for cyclists. It's not that cheap because you need a smart trainer to do it but you can also do it with a smart roller uh, which is cheaper but it's still an expensive solution you can just take your bike and ride outside but if it's raining it's not that um, well it's not that comfortable um, so yeah I do a lot of indoor training um, so after these two years of struggling with myself I, I just decided yeah let's to find some professional help for this. So I contacted the, the, the sport physician or a sport doctor, uh, if you will. Um, that dude was very chill. Um, he instantly uh, knew what was going on with me. Um, so we figured out quite, quite directly what we should do. So we went to an, um, we started doing a keto diet uh, this keto diet just basically um, was 100% food based so I just had to quit exercising, no more cycling, no more running, no exercise. Um, which was actually the hardest part for me to just sit still and, and do nothing. Um, but actually the diet itself is um, a breakfast shake, then two hours later uh, some kind of bar uh, or a biscuit or, or something like that. Then two hours later is noon, so you, you eat um, a salad, uh, 200 grams of um, uh, salad, tomatoes, uh, just fact, you know, the, the, the good green vegetables and tomatoes. 
Um, then um, every two hours you eat a bar or a, a biscuit again. And uh, at uh, dinner time, I ate uh, 200 grams of um, vegetables. Oops, 200 grams of vegetables um, just cooked with a little bit of olive oil and that's it. Um, and I drank a lot of water and a lot of coffee. That's it. So no sugars. That's it. Also, that's also the reason why we weren't able to exercise during that period because I didn't take in extra sugars. So I would burn my my muscles directly after when I was training. After four or five weeks, um, I skipped the uh, power bars and the the uh, biscuits and the soups and the and the shakes and I was only eating um, 200 grams of vegetables at uh, noon and 200 grams at dinner uh, and after a period I was able to add some chicken with it only 150 grams um, so yeah it, it's uh, you don't eat a lot but you you're, I didn't feel hungry at the um, at any point in the day I didn't feel hungry at all it, it worked fine during during the period of the diet itself. So, um, the hardest part for me was um, the first two weeks, is getting used to the ketone state that your body is in. Um, this comes along with headaches, um, dizziness. Uh, I also had a little bit of shaky feeling. That's actually our body reacting to, yeah, actually don't eating any sugars but in the end it was worth it so if you want to try this diet do not try this on your own at home um, go look for professional help to do this uh, I, I would suggest seeing a doctor before you get into this diet because it can be very um, hard on your body and on your mind as well so yeah that's it and now I'm able to start exercising again, which is great. Um, I've been doing fitness uh, for the last two weeks. Um, I've been riding my bike again. I've been running again. I didn't swim uh, until now, but um, I can see a lot of progression, especially in the running. Um, I've, I'm, I'm running quite a lot faster at this moment than I used to do. Um, so at this point I am at uh, 98 kilos and I'm I'm pretty happy with it. So in total over those Four years now I've lost 40 plus kilos and the last three months I did 27 of them Thanks to this keto diet. So there you have it That's how I did it Before I forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions just ask them in the comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.